from Tea to Green with Kelly Burke and Diane Doherty brought to you this week by JMO Mobile Modular. We're back for another season of From Tea to Green. I'm Kelly Burke alongside my much needed golf guru, Diane Doherty. And a special thanks this week to JMO Mobile Modular and specifically Joe and Nina Halini, who are friends of ours who are sponsoring this segment. You know, they have a family run business that's been around since 1986, based right here in Marion, Illinois. And they have modular buildings for all your commercial needs. That's awesome. Thank you to the Alinis, and we're excited to be here. I think you've grown a little bit. Uh, I don't know about that, but I definitely do need you to give me lessons. Well, I'm excited, and today we're going to start off learning the grip. Okay. Now, if we talk about the grip, we have to always talk about it in relationship to the club face. Okay. Okay, the club face is square. All right, if you put your hands on the club, it's got to be square. This is closed. The ball will go left. This is open. The ball will go right. Okay, you're right-handed. The left hand is on top. Right hand is on bottom. Obviously, your left hand is going to be reversed. Okay, so take your hand off the club. All right, let's get the club face square. All right, your hand goes on at a diagonal, and it's in your fingers. So many people want to grip it like it's a hammer or a, a tennis racket or something, and it's in your palm. It's got to be in your fingers. This part of the palm is on top. That is so important. Okay. Very good. This part of your thumb runs down that side of the grip great all right notice i've already marked your glove with the two red dots can you see those two red dots i can great so many people hit the ball to the right that would be me that would be you okay when you look down you should be able to see those two knuckles i can all right the one thing you've got to guard against is if you get too strong you will get a little tendonitis okay and you you know people have to watch that because they get too strong and then this starts hurting okay so you want to make sure that this hand is strong enough. That'll be a quick cure to, from hitting the ball to the right. All right, this hand goes on, same thing, in the fingers. This creates a little canal. I'm going to do a shameless plug for St. Francis because you can see all those little puppy bites and little <laughs> cat nicks in my hand. All right, there you go. That covers up right in the lifeline. Thumb covered up. This thumb goes down that shaft. Very good. Now, if I turn you like this, this is a 10 finger grip. See how it's all in your fingers? If you have small hands, this is a great grip. Okay. Interlocking used to be known as the, as the beginner grip. Just take your little finger, index finger, interlock. Tiger Woods, Jack Nicholas, and Diane Doherty, three great, great golfers, use this grip. So it's not a beginner grip. All the reason to use it. Exactly. An overlap grip is probably the most important, or the most popular, which you just put this finger on the club. That is just overlapping. Whatever is the most comfortable is what you want to use. Tension is very important. Lack of tension. Okay. All right, you want to hang on to it just tight enough that you have control, suppleness in the forearms, and you're ready to go. Have any questions? I don't think so. What uh, will be working on next week? Well, we're going to talk about alignment, and we're also going to talk about San Francis care. All right, you want to go there, adopt, always rescue, and spay and neuter your pets. Please spay and neuter. For more info on St. Francis Care adoptions or services, or if you're interested in donating or volunteering, visit their website at www.stfrancis-care.org or come see them at their Country Club Road location.